good evening yes good evening everyone so welcome to my uh, training on performance testing and engineering with lodana jmet and dana trace and uh, welcome to my training session so yeah so let me as this is a demo session like i, I would like to give a brief introduction about my experience and uh, and uh, this training program so and i want to explain i want to walk through uh, some of the uh, unique selling points or uh, you know what uh, unique features of my training right so this is a preface like uh, i would like to thank all of this mentioned you know who are part of my 16 plus years of performance testing and engineering journey so these are all guys like these are the guys like with whom i worked or from whom i learned or right so and uh, my mentors right so so the agenda for today's concept would be uh, like uh, i will be uploading this session by the way to my youtube channel those who did not subscribe yet please you know uh, subscribe and uh, click turn on all notifications so that you will receive uh, new batch updates and uh, free demo sessions guys right so those who join directly so i mean with the meeting link let me show you my youtube channel once you know so that you can subscribe to uh, stay tuned to my youtube channel guys so once you go to youtube and you know search for performance testing real time training and uh, here is my channel guys this is my channel with this logo right and you see some uh, some introductory sessions over here so please uh, subscribe and turn on all notifications guys if you haven't uh, done yet all right so let me go to the yeah so for the agenda for today's session would be trainer introduction and uh, unique features of my training and course duration and uh, to whom this training is suitable right and what are the prerequisites for performance testing career and what are the career prospects and compensation what are the packages that you can expect in performance testing career right and uh, digital platforms that i am using for training and course contents for beginners and advanced level participants uh, so scripting scenarios to cover in the training and what is performance testing types of performance testing if time permits so let me take up each of this quickly so let me give a brief introduction so i am an mca graduate and i am having like 15 16 plus years of it experience and uh, out of which like i have 14 plus years experience in performance testing and engineering right so i worked for both service based and product based companies like uh, app labs technologies is the is one of the service based comp company that i work uh, and i got chance to work on multiple tools like major performance testing tool like load on web load sail performer jmint I didn't uh, a geometer I worked on later. So I here I worked on load runner, web load, self performer in these domains, retail, healthcare, banking, finance domains. So Tech Mahindra is another service-based company where I got chance to work on multiple protocols. So if you see here, these are the different protocols that I worked on. I almost worked on 10 plus protocols with load in Tech Mahindra and uh, till now. Okay. So and later on, I moved to Bank of America, which is a product-based company. There, I got chance to work on JMeter, Jenkins, Splunk, Introscope, Dynatrace, WebLogic Console, Oracle Enterprise Manager, AppWatch, and uh, apart from the regular load and soap test, I got chance to work on these capacity planning tests. And I'm a certified associate in JMeter, Splunk, and Dynatrace. And later on, I moved to InnoMinds, like which is one of the ten uh, top ten green companies to work for continuously. For uh, it got that award, like uh, National Best Employer Award, from 2018 or so. So it it continuously got the National Best Employer Brand Award for continuously three to four years. So I also worked for SAP Labs, a, uh, a well known, uh, reputed ERP product based organization. So and next. To SAP Labs, I worked for State Street, which is a financial services product based company. So this is about briefly about my experience, guys. I cannot disclose my current company. So this is about my briefly about my experience. And I am into these trainings from 2018, end of 2018. So prior to that, I have some training experience. So total, I am carrying like five plus years of training experiences. So 
right so let me move to the next slide so what are the unique features of my training so i just want to uh, you know give a uh, give a overview on that so i am going to provide training on enterprise java applications not just web tools and jpet store that other trainers or training institutes provide right so i am going to provide training on enterprise java applications and we will have the first 10 minutes we will have daily assessment uh, wherein i will i will be asking few questions on the previous day concepts and the next 50 to 60 minutes will be spent for theory or scripting sessions so this is a break up for a typical one and a half hour session so mostly my sessions will be one and a half hour only during demo sessions it will be an hour so later on my sessions will be a one and a half hour daily class okay so i maintain a batch tracker like this for every batch i maintain a tracker like this and here you can see like uh, these these are the batch uh, you know batch duration and uh, timings you know at what uh, you can see over here right what is the session time and the duration clear so tip, uh, ideally like uh, typically my session goes for one and a half hour sometimes it gets extended some very few times right so i maintain a batch tracker like this for every batch yes. And this is my July 2022 batch uh, in which I completed load runner. And it took like approximately 80 hours for that. Here you can see this is the total duration of this load runner, uh, load runner training. List. I'm muting everyone as there is some background noise. So please, you know, if you have any query, please uh, unmute yourself. Thank you. Right. So uh, I'll make so and I'll. Uh, I will take attendance like who all are attending the session and who all are missing the sessions, right? Um, so this is a batch tracker that I maintain, uh, that maintain I maintained for July 2022 batch. And this is this batch tracker, as you can see here, this is September 2022 batch. And I will share this Excel sheet with you so that uh, if you miss any session on any particular day, you can refer to, to the recorded sessions, like what, what concept is covered on that day, right? And also in the same tracker, we will be doing script review. I will be reviewing all your scripts. Uh, let me quickly show you that. So if you see here, so this is another unique features, uh, uh, you know, unique selling point, USP of my training. So I may, so I, I create a folder for every student and, you know, we download every student should must and should uh, share your scripts and we will review the scripts and provide ratings in the, in the same tracker sheet, as you can see here. So this is another, uh, this is something which we started and no one does, you know, uh, either in online or classroom training, right? And Q&A session doubt clarification for the last 10 minutes and the scripting simplified and easy to understand. We made scripting simplified and easy to understand even for non it guys. And most of the scripts of that I cover in the training will be from different companies interviews, right? And the scripting hands-on mandatory for every participant. As I mentioned, as I have shown you just now, so everyone should work on the script and share the script to me for review, right? And one after the training, you can attempt like a JMeter certification, which is a free certification, as well as ISTQB recently introduced a, a separate certification for performance testing in 2020. In mid 2020 or 2021, ISTQB has introduced a separate certification for performance testing. Previously, we don't have any ISTQB certification. However, it was introduced like in 2020 or 2021. So you can attempt that training as well, uh, that certification as well. Sorry. You can attempt that certification as well and uh, certified. And JMeter certification is mandatory. So let me show you some almost like 80 to 90, 80 percent of my students are certified. Uh, okay, so let me quickly show you uh, the certifications which we, which you know, our uh, students shared it to me. I have, I have some certifications which I have, uh, which uh, which were shared by my students to me. So this is JMeter Pro certification of one of my previous batch students. Okay. So now eighty percent of my students are certified. So I don't have handy, uh, uh, right? But I can show you all the certifications. You know, like uh, 
later on. And this is my JMetro Pro certification, which I completed way back in 2020. So I am going to cover three protocols, web, web services, and API testing with both the tools, Loadrunner and JMeter. This is another USP, like uh, I am, uh, so here you can uh, even, uh, you know, now we are providing training on both Loadrunner and JMeter. Uh, and I will be, uh, I will be, you know, running these uh, training sessions on both Loadrunner and JMeter, as well as Dynatrace. Dynatrace, uh, you know, we haven't started yet. So I'm going to start from next month, uh, this Dynatrace training. So hands-on training on scripting, the next USP is hands-on training on scripting with real-time examples and 15 plus scripts given in scripting tests of various companies interviews, all right? So let me quickly show you what are the, what are the you know, scripting scenarios that I am going to cover in the training. So this is, this is a training program. This training program was evolved like over a, a period of three years. I have been like uh, updating or modifying it as per the current requirement from continuously from the past three years. So these are the different applications that I'm going to cover. Here you can see, so I mentioned like whatever demo applications, I mentioned them as well as I meant, you know, I have highlighted here two real-time applications which I am going to cover in the scripting test, right? So Udemy is one application and Amazon is another application which I will be uh, covering as part of scripting. So one, one application with Loadrunner and another application with JMeter. Clear guess. And, and this is one script that is given frequently in interviews. Some organizations conduct scripting tests, some organizations, not all organizations, however, some organizations conduct scripting tests and this is one of the script that is given in uh, that scripting test. So overall, I'm going to cover like four to five demo applications and two real-time applications for scripting and test executions. So, and I also implement this like uh, applying sprint-based model to training, right? So, I, you know, you'll come to know like what is the sprint-based model applied to training. So that is some real time concept that I am applying for training so that you will, everyone will get an idea like uh, how uh, the current real time projects are uh, running, right? Uh, we are following all the projects or all the organizations are following agile methodology. So wherein like each two weeks is considered as one sprint and we are, I'm going to apply that sprint based model to training. So you'll come to know that like, what is that sprint based model applied to training? So apart from this, like uh, I, uh, you know, occasionally do this table topics and presentation by participants. And uh, I am leveraging certain digital platforms for training assignments and assessments, right? So I am using Google Classroom for giving assignments. Let me quickly show you that. So I create a Google Classroom for every batch and uh, I will be sharing the assignments over here. I'll be adding all the students in each batch. I'll create a separate Google Classroom for each batch and I'll be giving, I'll be sharing assignments over here. So, and every student should work on the scripts and share the scripts to me for review. Let me quickly show you like, uh, uh, yeah. So this is the mail ID that we are, uh, you know, that every student has to share their script. and. E, and there will be a separate person for you know like reviewing the scripts and uh, like uh, previously I used to do of course I only used to do the script review so recently like as we have more number of students you know like in the from the past four to five batches like uh, I have assigned this task to someone else right one of my you know one of my training partner or previous batch student will be reviewing these scripts and they will be providing uh, feedback uh, feedback or you know will be providing the review comments. Let me quickly show you that as well. So this is how we are going to provide the review comments and rating. So for each student, as you can see over here. Okay. Yes, am I audible? Audible, yes. sir. Okay. So apart from this, uh, like we will be having weekly assessments and monthly assessment. Every Sunday you will get an assignment or every Saturday you will get an assignment 
so which you have to attempt by uh, attempt uh, you know like by the weekend uh, saturday or sunday you can attempt that and once you attempt the test like uh, you will see the test once you submit the test you will see the test results there and then and i also will be getting an email with your test results i'll i'll show you a snapshot of that as well and yeah so not just you know like uh, we we give individual attention to everyone and uh, like uh, someone who is getting like uh, less than expected score in weekly test so we will be giving uh, special attention to those guys going forward and apart from this training like i am going to provide placement assistance under placement assistance i am going to prepare a cv for each one of you and a real time project training in classroom so this is for those who are uh, keeping experience after the training not for freshers freshers doesn't require this placement assistance for those who want to keep some experience who have career gaps and who want to keep experience and who want placement assistance will you know this completely optional who want placement assistance right so uh, i am providing real time project training in the classroom in hyderabad right and this is not mandatory 50% of the only you know like in each batch only 50% of the people will be able to join this classroom training uh, still we have 80% success ratio in every batch so that speaks that like this is not mandatory clear this so only 50% in each batch attend the classroom training however we are having 80% success ratio in every batch 80 to 85% uh, in every batch right so so 35% of the people are securing jobs cracking entries on their own with just online training all right and as part of this placement assistance i will be conducting five mock interviews first mock interview i will be taking myself and once it, uh, you know you are through with that first mock interview i'll i'll be arranging two mock two more mock interviews by my friends who are working in service based companies and two mock interviews by my friends who are working for product based companies so the idea behind this is like i'll get to know like you know how where are you standing with respect to your subject knowledge and uh, then i will i am actually paying these guys like for taking the interviews the reason why i am scheduling this third party mock interviews is so i know what i covered in the training right so but obviously they will not know what i cover in the training so they will do the interview on their in their own way so thereby you will get to know like where do you stand and what are the areas of improvement or what are your strong areas in which areas you are already strong right and the last one is earn while you learn learn program so which i will uh, reveal like what is this earn while you learn once you confirm you joining i cannot reveal it now so these are the uh, ust unique selling point of my training guys any queries over here before we move to the next slide so here is my whatsapp number please save it if you haven't saved it yet yeah any queries no queries so it's recording in progress yeah all right so let me uh, let me now so the next agenda for topic for this session is like uh, who all are the ideal participants this is important right so any btec or nca or msc computers or bca freshers or any full time degree who are in active job search active it job search let me update it active it job search can join this training so till last year till 2020 or early 2021 so btech or nca are mandatory uh, for most of the organizations so however because of huge it demand uh, from the last from, from the past one year most of the companies are asking 15 years of full time education that's it so they are not as now now uh, you know even tcs is asking for any full time degree they are not asking for they are not insisting of our btech or nca or ms and msc computers are you know pg or graduates like this however you know any full time degree like anyone who is having 15 years of full time education are eligible for this performance testing career software testing career particular mm -hmm. software testing career okay i cannot comment out on development side i am not aware of that but i have you know clear evidence that any degree will be accepted let me show you some screenshot on, on that 
So this is a screenshot of a mail that I received from uh, TCS guys. <clears throat> so if you closely observe here, so this is from for TCS. Experience expected is one to six years. Pan India, we have openings. Uh, TCS have openings across India, and uh, job title performance testing location Pan India as you can see here. And uh, important thing is observe here. So minimum qualification that is the one that I know I want to show. 15 years of full-time education. <coughs> I'm sorry. Right? So, BTEC or NCI is not mandatory and any, any graduate uh, can uh, take this training and pursue this career. Clear, guys? Any queries? Right. No so, I think silence as no. Yeah. So, and uh, yeah. 2017 to 2021 passouts with career gaps and manual testing units. Yes. So manual testing units, I, I can say that this is one of the best career option for manual testing units, those who are already working in manual testing. Right. So obviously, so nowadays, like you know, everyone is moving towards automation. And uh, if you go towards automation career, right? So you need program very good programming skills for automation testing career, right? However, performance testing doesn't require, you know. Programming knowledge is not mandatory. Coding skills are not mandatory for performance testing career. Uh, that is the beauty of performance testing. At the same time, you can expect packages more or, more or equal to automation test, testing units. So the performance testing is one wonderful career option for those who are already working or those who are already trained in manual testing. Clear, guys? And passionate BPO and non ad employees like uh, who want to Pursue career in IT, particularly software testing. This course is most suitable for these three categories. Okay. And housewives who already have some experience, prior experience, and who had to take a career break because of marriage and kids. Right. So many people and lecturers, those who are working as lecturers in colleges, junior colleges, engineering colleges, many people, many lecturers during the COVID time shifted their career to IT and they are getting handsome salary. Uh, from the past, you know, two years, uh, I can say that like for forty to fifty percent of lecturers shifted to IT career uh, during this, particularly during this COVID time, right? So one more important thing I want to emphasize here is basic programming skills are enough for performance testing. So, if, however, if you have any prior knowledge on Java, or Python, or C, C plus plus, or SQL, or Linux, all these will be added advantage to your performance testing career. Not mandatory, however, these will be added advantage to uh, for you to enter into performance testing. As we know, like we will uh, will be using this as a, your experience grows. Like you will you will need a basic Java, basic Java knowledge. You need not be writing code in Java. You need basic Java knowledge. Or if you have Python, or if it, if you already took some training on any of these. That will be an added advantage and that will fetch you three to four lakhs more package than others. Clear this? Yep. Right. And uh, what are the career prospects and compensation for performance testing? So performance testing going forward, I'll uh, uh, you know I'll call it as PT. Uh, we, this is a standard term, industry standard term. PT, uh, you know, performance testing is in short called as PT. What are the career prospects and the packages that you can expect for uh, for performance testing career, right? And what are the packages, average packages in service and product-based companies? So, excuse me a moment. So, first, you know, let me categorize uh, software organizations into uh, service-based and uh, product-based, right? Which you already know. Most of you already may be knowing this, should be knowing this, right? So service-based companies, when I say service-based companies, we have TCS, CTS, Infi, right? Tech Mahindra, right? Capgemini, and so on. The list goes on, yes. right? And product-based companies, if you want to name a few product-based companies, JP Morgan, Let's go. Bank of America. 
Salesforce, ServiceNow. Right? So these are a few product based companies. These are few product based companies. Now, for performance testing, what are the packages that you can expect? Is someone who is trying as a fresher, right? So you can expect three to four lakhs package. And for those who are trying with three plus years experience, mostly there will be more number of calls for someone who can keep three plus years experience. Of course, nowadays we have one to six years. I have shown you one screenshot, right? You have like, uh, you know, openings for uh, one, two, three, one, two, four, and so on. So for three years, now the average package, previously the average package used to be five to six lakhs for three years experience. However, because, uh, you know, like for the past one year, this average package went up to 10 to 12 lakhs per year. A three years experience case in service based companies. On the other side, if you take product based companies, right? So, fresh, freshers will get four to five lakhs. There are few students, few of my students, like who uh, got into pro product based companies and service based companies. And based on that information, I am giving these numbers so for someone who tax interview or three years experience in a product based companies. So you can expect a, from 10 to 15 lakhs packages. This is the average package in Hyderabad. These are the average numbers that I am, uh, that I know personally in Hyderabad. Case. And one of my students got 12 and a half lakhs package for 12 and a half lakhs package for three years experience. Good thing is, wonderful thing is, uh, she was a B pharmacy graduate. Okay, she was a B pharmacy graduate, and she she was one of the first five members to get placement in her batch, and she bagged an offer of twelve and a half lakhs package for three years experience. I can show you her uh, offer letter and date of joining, all those details. If, you know, if you meet personally, right? So, and uh, these are the packages that you can expect in a product based company, and. Uh, just to let you know like what is the what are the future prospects or career prospects in performance testing salesforce offered like 55 lakhs package salesforce offered 55 lakhs package for 10 plus years experience okay? last year so this is see there may be few more uh very good of packages or offers but this is as per my knowledge this is the highest package for 10 plus years experience in Hyderabad. That one of my friends for clear this. So this is about uh, career prospects and uh, uh, packages that you can expect in performance testing career, right? And what are the digital platforms we leverage for training? I already explained about Google Classroom and uh, I use one more, two more platforms for uh, giving uh, assignments and assessments, uh, weekly assessments and this and all this. And let me show you the next one is what are the course contents for beginner and advanced level participants that I am providing. So these are the course contents for beginner skills. Okay, let me go to slideshow mode. So course contents for freshers are beginners in performance testing. The total training is 200 hours. Of course, it is completely optional. It's up to you whether you want to join one tool or two tools, right? So I will be spending 10 to 15 hours on performance testing basics and developer tools and fiddler and load on a professional 2022 with web, web services and API testing. This training comes around 80 hours, right? And uh, JMeter training comes around 80 hours, approximately 80 or 80 plus hours. And monitoring with open source tools and analysis like open source tools like InfluxDB, Grafna, Elk Stack. There are some tools, open source tools for monitoring. I'll be covering those, whatever required for, for you to keep three years experience, all those will be covered if you join this uh, full course test, this 200 plus hour, 200 hours training, basic Java concepts and basic performance engineering concepts will be covered for though. And uh, there are a couple of instances where my students got claimed five years experience after my training and they got around like 10 to 15 lakhs package for five years experience last year. Right. Most of the, however, most of the students claim three plus years experience and are getting 10 to 12 lakhs package. 
And I will be also covering like basic SQL queries and SQL tools like Toad or DBWare or DB Visualizer, Git and GitHub. And Dynatrace APM is optional. Uh, this takes like uh, 20 to 25 hours for me. I haven't started it yet. So I'm planning to start it from long time, but because of time constraints, I cannot start. Uh, I was able to unable to start this. So I'm, um, I'm going to start this from next month for sure. So these are the course contents for, for freshers or beginners in performance testing. Someone who have career gaps and want to keep experience or someone who want to switch from manual testing or non it to performance oh. testing. So these would be more than enough. And if you are, if you want to keep two years experience, you don't require both the tools also. Observe here, you know, these two are the major tools for performance testing career to get an entry into performance testing career load runner and JMeter are the two major tools clear. And if you want to keep two years experience, one tool would be enough. So based on how much experience you want to give, so else let me, so for two years experience, one tool would be enough. Ideal one is JMeter, right? For three years or, uh, you know, approximately three years experience, three and above. Definitely need two tools. These are mandatory. Lotoner and JMeter are mandatory for three plus years experience. So apart from this, like some organizations look for any APM tool like Dynatrace. Dynatrace or AppDynamics or New Relic or any other APM tool, right? So if someone want to try with three years, I seriously suggest them to take training on at least two tools. These are mandatory. Lotoner and JMeter are mandatory. And if your time and budget permits, you can, you have to, it's always better to take training on any APM tool, not just from me or anyone else, any other trainer. So this is the, these are the expectations for three years experience case. Any queries here guys? For freshers, yeah, for freshers, one tool would be enough by the way. So if someone, you know, like uh, 2022, 2022 passwords can, Expect placement as a fresher from us. Let me write it down that as well. For freshers, one tool would be enough. Any one tool, any one tool from uh, this load runner and JMeter. Load runner or JMeter. Clear guys, any queries? You don't require these monitoring concepts as well. For those who are trying as freshers, right? You don't need all these. One tool would be enough. Either this load runner with uh, these protocols or else JMeter, performance testing fundamentals plus JMeter. This would be more than enough for freshers. Clear, guys? Any queries? No queries up to now. All right. So uh, I'm not giving any running any batches for this now at the moment because I was already completely occupied with the uh, uh, August batch and uh, September batch. Sorry, July batch. July batch is still in progress. We have completed load runner and have to start JMeter in that batch. This is my July batch, July 2022 batch. And I'm completely occupied with you know one more batch running in the evening time. Uh, sorry, in the morning time. So that is August 2022 batch. So there will be around like 30 to 40 people in every batch. Uh, and of course, like only 20 to 25 will be joining regularly. So everyone will get individual attention. So this is my August 2022 batch, as you can see here, right? And the training will be from Monday to Friday. Uh, and if, if I miss any session, I'll be compensating that on Saturday like this. If I miss any session on weekdays, I would, I, you know, I would be compensating on that session on Saturday. You can see here last Saturday, I took two hours because we missed some session over here. I think Wednesday, Thursday and Thursday, I missed a session. That's why I compensated it on, compensated it on Saturday. Okay. So let me go to the, so I covered uh, course contents. I covered scripting scenarios to cover in the training. What is performance testing? Yeah. So yeah, let me quickly cover this. What is performance testing? and we'll close the demo for today, all right? So this demo script, I can provide it tomorrow if you want. So I know this is one of the FAQ from inquiries when I get any inquiry, right? 
So how much coding skills are required for performance testing? That is one important uh, question or important concern that everyone have. Right? So I will take a separate session on this to show you like how easy it is to record a script and you know, to generate a script with Loadrunner and JMeter. So for the moment, let me cover what is performance testing quickly. So software testing, in, uh, so I already have, you know, I made a demo session on this and available on my YouTube channel. So let me quickly show you that. Let me go to my ch YouTube channel. So I have previously last year or so, I made one video on software testing theories and uh, it's available as a public video, right? So here you, you focus. So I explained what are the, you know, what are the major queries in software testing. So, however, you know, like, please go through this complete, uh, complete uh, uh, recorded session. If you are interested to know, I'll, I'll be sharing this link in the WhatsApp group, right? Uh, let me quickly summarize what, right? What are the three major careers in software testing? Three major careers, right? So one is manual testing, or you no, know, hold on. Let me write it as functional software functional testing, and automation testing, and and performance testing. Of course, there are a couple of other testing like security testing, uh, penetration testing, and all these. There are a couple of non-functional testing. However, these are the major soft software testing careers. Just give me a moment. So I explained this whole PPT in that session, wherein I explained this, what is manual testing, what is automation and what is performance testing. So please go through this uh, demo session, guys. Please go through this demo session. I'm sharing it in my WhatsApp group uh, in the current batch. I'll take a pause here, guys, just a moment. So please go through this if you want to understand you know, in, de in detail about uh, functional testing and automation and performance testing. So let me quickly summarize this. So functional testing and automation testing, these are, both of these are, okay. So testing the functionality of the application. If you are, you if you do that, you know, without using any tool, you call that as manual testing. However, if you are using any tool like Selenium, most of you might have heard with heard about Selenium with Java, right? So if you are using any tools like Selenium with Java or something, Selenium with Python, right? Or any other automation testing tools, we, any other tools, we call that as automation testing. Okay, Selenium with Java, Python, and so on. There are a lot of other uh, uh, other popular uh, other you know automation testing tools so however selenium is the most popular one uh, for automation testing career now so if you are using any tool for doing software functional testing for testing the functionality of the software without using any tools if you do that that is called as manual testing so if you use any tools for testing the functionality of the application we call that as automation testing okay so, and uh, this performance testing falls under non-functional testing, right? So let me quickly explain what is functional testing and non-functional testing with just an example. I won't take much time guys. So let's say for example, you type gmail.com, right? So you are supposed to get a login page like this, wherein you need to enter like your email or phone number, isn't it? So let's say for example, so this is my email ID. Let's say for example, you enter, your email ID or phone number over here like this and click on next. So you can enter, you can enter the complete Gmail ID or else you can enter, you can skip that at gmail.com, right? Some of you may be knowing that. So once you enter your email or phone, right? So observe here, it automatically took gmail.com because we are on that domain. So once you enter your, you know, if it is a valid email address, it will prompt for the password, right? So this is how JMeter, uh, sorry, this is how uh, 
Gmail is designed, isn't it? This is how Gmail is designed. And if you enter a valid email address, your sub application should prompt for your password. Otherwise, you know, if you enter an invalid email address, you enter some junk characters like this. Right? And if you click next, right, so it should display an error message in red color, isn't it? So this is how, so the, and expected input is, if you enter some valid input like this, so it will take you to the next screen. Otherwise it will display some error message, right? So this is testing the functionality. This is how the Gmail application was designed or supposed to work, right? So this is software functional testing. And if you are doing this manually without using tools, that is called as manual testing. If you use any tools like Selenium or any other automation testing tools, that is falls under automation testing umbrella. Clear case, are we clear on this? Clear. Yes. Clear. Yes. What is non-functional testing? Or, you know, there are there are a lot of non-functional testing. Uh, again, like majority are like uh, any project requires this performance testing and security testing as a bare minimum non-functional test. So let me explain now what is performance testing. So let's say, for example, you are accessing any website or a mobile application, right? So when there are less number of users accessing the application, it may be faster. However, during the peak time, let's say, for example, you are trying to book a ticket, Tatkal, you are booking, trying to book a train ticket during Tatkal time, wherein lakhs of users will be trying to access the application at the same time, right? Then you may see some slowness, right? Or whenever you, uh, during the end of the month or first week of the month, you, you might have observed that net banking applications would become slow, isn't it? Have you observed that you know net banking applications will become slow on 30th of every month and 30, 31st on every month and uh, during the first week, most probably? Yes, sir, no guess. No, I haven't observed. Okay. Anyone observed that? Yes, someone who is working, already working, and who is having uh, you know salary account. You should have observed this. Right? So why, because why we are observing that slowness is like, we do have more number of users accessing the net banking application during last two days, one or two days and the first week of every month, right? If you observe, if you are trying to make it, I, I observed it a lot of times, like uh, whenever I want to make a credit card payment on 31st or first, right? Uh, we observe a lot of slowness in the net banking websites. So that is because like there will be more number of users who are accessing the application, right? And performance testing is something which uh, the testing of an application's performance when when there is uh, when there are a huge number of users accessing the application, right? So let me quickly take you through the slide deck on the same. So what is performance testing? So this is at a very high level. I know that this is at at a very high level, guys. What is performance testing? So I'll be sharing this training material to everyone once you confirm your joining. And this is how the training material is going to be. So performance testing, we do performance testing by simulating the important business flows of the application. Right? We'll discuss this in detail later on. Topic by topic, point by point, we'll discuss this. Uh, once we start the actual sessions, we will be discussing this in a detailed way. Right? Right? So for now, understand that performance testing is a non-functional testing to determine an application's speed. When I say speed, it is the response time of each page. Let me give some examples. Let's say, for example, you are accessing appeal.com website, right? It took certain time to load the page, isn't it? Yes or no, guys? So or else if you are trying to access, you know, Amazon website. So let me show you. Without doing any using any tool, also you can see what is the performance, what is the response time of your each page. Let me uh, use developer tools for that. In browser, I you know you have something called developer tools. If we go to more tools, you have something called developer tools. And control I used this shortcut, this particular shortcut, control shift I to launch this developer tools. Now let's say for example you are accessing Amazon application, right? So definitely it will take some time to load the page, isn't it? It will take some one second or two seconds to load the page, right? So 
to start loading the page it will take certain time and to complete to load the complete page it will be taking some more time isn't it so yep. here is the load time of the page here you can see 1.86 seconds and uh, you have finish time as 24 seconds approximately we'll discuss this in detail what is load time what is finish time what is dom content load time right we'll discuss that in detail or you know like uh, in the once uh, once the actual sessions were started Right. So now we are as a performance test engineer, we are interested to measure this response time or how speed is the application, how speed the page is loading, right? Not only web websites, guys, it applies for mobile apps as well. Right. We do test performance of mobile applications as well. So basically, performance testing is a non-functional testing, right? To determine an application speed, stability how stable is the application and how scalable is the application and how reliable the application would be once it goes into production. So these are the important driving factors for doing performance testing. I know this is at a very high level, right? So, however, so I feel that, you know, this is enough for a demo session. Guys. All right. So we'll discuss these in detail once, you know, like once we start the actual sessions. Let me go back to the agenda topics. Right. So tomorrow, you know, if you want, I'll I'll show you how do we record a script using Loadrunner and JMeter and placement assistance. I already explained. And last but not the least, uh, hold on, just give me a moment. I want to show you some screenshots of the weekly tests. Okay, and I want to show you some you know uh, achievements. So please uh, uh, subscribe to me to my YouTube channel. You'll be getting notifications of whenever we start new batch or whenever some you know. Uh, one of our students get selected, right? I'll be masking those details, of course. I'll I'll be masking the full name and I'll be uploading like this. Let me give you some example, right? So as part of, so this is one of the, you know, car, uh, offer letter that one of our, my previous batch students got. So as part of placement assistance, right? So I want to explain about placement assistance in detail, right? So not only training, so if you go to any other trainer or training institute, right, they may be providing only training or you have to go for someone else for placement assistance, right? So, however, so we are providing both training and placement. And as part of placement assistance, so we will be providing experience documents from any consultancy. We have tie-ups with four to five consultancies. We will be providing experience documents. And uh, some companies ask for bank statement or form 16. We do provide form 16 and bank statements as well, genuine bank statements, guys. Okay, not manipulated ones. So the moment you, uh, as soon as you join the training, if you start running payroll processing with any of our consultancies, by the time you complete the course, you will get this bank statement ready with you. Genuine bank statement will be ready for you. Clear, guys? So this genuine bank statement will be ready for you. If you start payroll processing, so if you want to know what is payroll processing, I have one separate video on that. Let me quickly show you that. So we are going to provide experience documents and uh, genuine bank statements. Yeah. So here is that recording uh, session, guys. Experience documents and you know placement assistance. I explained about this experience documents and payroll processing. What are the charges involved in that in this session? So I'll be sharing this one also in the WhatsApp group. Please go through this uh, uh, this particular session, guys. All right. So if you want to know in detail about placement assistance. So I'll take a pass here. Any other queries, guys? No, no queries. No. Okay. So this is something more important for me. Okay, let I just want to close the conclude the demo session. So I have shown you one certification, right? So this is definitely something important, uh, special to me. Because you know this particular candidate is from hotel management background. He did his graduation in 
hotel management and he successfully completed the training with us and uh, he is waiting for his he cleared two rounds of interview with couple of companies and waiting for a offer letter soon you will see a notification on my youtube channel once he gets an offer letter okay right? so that way like we have provided training and placement to non it guys complete non it guys so i told you like some one of my student got 12 and a half lakhs package right so this is this lady who like who got placement last year right and who was from b farm c background she got 12 and a half lakhs package highest package in her batch and she is one of the first five students from that batch to get placement right so this is all i want to uh, give cover as part of the demo today i'll take a pause here and any queries we will uh, address and we'll wrap up for today and please share your gmail id to me uh, in whatsapp separately please don't share it in the group guys please don't share it in the whatsapp group please share it separately to me please share your gmail id if you haven't shared it before and thanks for joining and uh, yeah uh, have a nice day so if you have any, if you don't have any queries you can drop off let me pass recording so that some people want to ask you know queries after stopping the recording Okay, we do some final, you know, uh, bit of uh, uh, promotion. Uh, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, turn on all notifications so that you'll get updates on the new batches and free demo sessions. Guys, those who are watching this demo session, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Sorry, guys, I missed to share the course contents. Let me quickly show you the course contents document. So these are load runner course contents. I'll share this uh, documents in the WhatsApp group as well. However, for demo purpose, those who are watching the demo session, these are the course contents for load runner, and these are my JMeter course contents. All right, I'll be sharing both of these documents in the WhatsApp group, and I am including uh, Blaze Meter also from this batch. So till uh, so. By the way, like uh, I am working on Blazemeter now. I am working on a project where we are using JMeter and Blazemeter and uh, New Relay. So as I got chance to work on Blazemeter, and I felt like Blazemeter is something which is, you know, uh, important for those who are learning JMeter. So I am including JMeter, uh, Blazemeter also from this batch, right? Let me share these two documents in the. Uh, WhatsApp group. So blaze matter is not included in that course contents. Uh, I will, uh, oh, I missed it actually. I will add blaze matter also into the course contents and I will reshare it guys. All right guys, so that's all I have for today. Anything else, did I miss anything, something or if you have any queries, uh, let me pause recording, then you can ask without any. So, so someone asked a query like, you know, uh, will I be providing interview questions, right? As you can see here, this is July 2022 batch class notes. So whenever I am explaining any concept, right? So I'll be uh, writing the interviews questions into this, like this. Can you explain PT lifecycle, explain our application architecture, right? So I'll be providing all these questions like this, questions as well as answers uh, into the class notes document. What is a, so here you can see some basic definitions. What is a function? What are the different recording modes in load runner? When should we use HTML mode? When should we use, go for URL best script? I will be sharing this class notes to everyone. And I will be uh, you know, noting down all the interview questions into this document. Thanks for asking that. Um, yeah, anything else, guys? Uh, there is one question asking that, you know, like uh, your students are saying, are, you know, we have only demo sessions on my YouTube channel. Yes, that's correct. So we'll be having, I will be uploading only demo sessions as public videos like this. 
demo sessions will be uploaded as public videos however you know if you uh, once you join the training once you confirm your joining right i will be sharing the each and every recorded session to your email id so that it will be helpful for your teacher reference thanks for asking that hari anyone else any other queries guys hi pawan uh, nazir here yeah nazir so uh, do we get the uh, training for this uh, grafana and uh, monitoring of servers also yeah definitely so you know along with dana trace definitely yes so let me show you that that is covered as part of jmeter training you can see here jmeter integration with influx db telegraph grafana this is one of the important uh, concept that i'll be covering on server side monitoring once the scripting is completed right api testing and scripting is completed i will be covering distributed testing with jmeter and uh, api testing with jmeter and jmeter integration with influx db grafana so let me quickly show you the previous batch packers also where i already covered those okay anything else so this is load on a batch actually any other queries guys uh new relic also will be covering right no new relic i am not covering at the moment so i am i know i can give training on load on a jmeter and dana trace at the moment i can give training on splunk also but not required for you so these are the major tools uh, that are in demand load on a jmeter and dana trace let me pause recording so we are starting uh, by the way along with performance testing right so someone who is from completely from non computers background and who are skeptical whether you can learn performance testing or not right so we are providing manual testing training with istqb certification also right and that batch also will be started from tomorrow and the timings are 7 to 8 am in the morning so this is manual testing batch training batch manual testing plus istqb guys so this is one more usp no other institute is you know providing this istqb certification training uh, as far as i know right so we are, we are starting a new batch for this from uh, tomorrow onwards timings for that batch are 7 to 8 am ist if you have any friends or relatives like who are completely who are graduates bcom graduates or you know bsc graduates or btech graduates who want to do this you know istqb certification please refer and uh, uh, we you know the our first is batch with istqb certification will be was done last week only i will be sharing the istqb certificate certificates of my students very soon you will see that in the next one to two weeks you will see that on my youtube channel we are very confident that we have only five members in the manual testing training but four out of five will be completing the istqb certification in the next one to two weeks at least four out of five right so our manual testing trainer is you know uh, is carrying like 10 plus years of experience in both service based and product based companies he worked for sap labs that is one of his major you uh, know organization that he worked in his career any other queries guys so please you know like and a good thing is like we are providing istqb certification training as well uh, fees for this manual testing training is 8k plus 4000 you have to pay for istqb certificate board board actually you will be paying that to that 4000 to istqb for as an exam fees training fees is 8000 so it will all together cost 12000 for fee structure please go through this whatsapp group description guys everyone okay i clearly mentioned the fee structure in the whatsapp group description of the september 2022 batch uh, one more yeah one more important information guys infosys and uh, uh, you know infos infosys and tcs i think right these two companies alone they did lot of fresher recruitment they recruited 1 1.8 lakh freshers in the last financial year okay from april 2021 to this march 2022 so this speaks about the it recruitment you know huge demand for it recruitment in india 
for freshers as well as experienced guys. Previously, three years experience guys used to get only four to five lakhs for performance testing. So, however, nowadays, like we are seeing like uh, 10 to 15 lakhs package for three years experience. So that speaks about that there is a huge demand for uh, demand for, you know, IT resources. Guys. The, in fact, there is a huge resource crunch. Particularly into performance testing, there is a huge resource crunch. Many people go to manual and automation, even though they are not good in programming or coding, right? Knowingly or unknowingly, like they will be going to manual and automation, right? However, you know, like many people, few people doesn't know about performance testing, but there is huge resource crunch in performance testing. We are, we are not having enough number of resources of performance testing units who are performance testing units. That is the reason why average package went up to 10 to 15 lakhs for three years experience. That is the reason just because there is a lot of demand and the organizations are unable to find the resources in performance testing. That is why these huge packages, fat packages. Okay. And this recruitment will be like, you know, will be say, uh, prevailing or persisting for the next couple of years.